Hey there, Dew Drops. It's Diane from Coravina. How are you? Hope you're having a really good day. I hope that you are feeling joyful in this holiday season and not stressed out. Um, all this week, we are making water marbled paper based on Christmas themes. So that's what we're going to do again today. All right. Let me show you our inspiration for the day. Here it is. Oh, so pretty. All right. So we've got some gold and gray ornaments with a really pretty package. Think we can do it? I think we can do it. Okay, so instead of this really light silver, I'm gonna put some white in, all right? Because I think the white is gonna help everything else pop. All right, then we've got our gray. We've got this gold. We're gonna have a lot of this gold color. We're gonna have a little bit of this. This is kind of an accent for those baubles. And then we're gonna put this in first, all right? This really dark color. And it's going to hopefully help everything else pop, all right, because there's not a lot of it. So we'll see what we can do, all right? Let me switch you down to our dewdrop view. Here we go, all right? So how's it going? Getting close, getting close to Christmas. Hope you guys are hanging in there. All right, hold on just a second. All right, here we go. We are gonna start with this paint here. Oh, it's feeling thick. Oh, that might not be a good one. Hold on a second, guys. Give this a little shake. Oh, no, no, no. This is not a good one. All right, Dewdrops, let's give this one another try. We're going to start with a different darker brown. Okay, so it's a little different uh, than what we were working with, but hopefully it won't matter that much. Okay, so let's come in. I'll tell you what, let's go and do this on everywhere. Look at that paint spread, isn't that fun? And then, how we come in some lines for our gold. And then we can do lines in between for our silver. Interesting, interesting. I think that we've got a lot of silver going on in this picture. Oh, I didn't even add any white. Let's do some white. Let's do some white on top of our silver. Maybe it'll act as kind of a shadow or a, a highlight to the silver. Really taking over our tray, so we're going to have to put some other colors in here. Every paint has a different personality, if you did not know that already. It does, it does. And some spread all over the place, and some uh, barely spread at all. So this is part of what makes water marbling so maddening. If you, <laughs> if you have water marbled before, then you know what I'm talking about. But it's also why I love it, because it is such a challenge. So... Dewdrops, if you are a water marbler or you're interested in learning how to do it, go to Corvina.com and look for my blog section because I'm trying to set up a blog so we can do some more in-depth water marbling chatting. Maybe some water marbling challenges because I heard, I heard that some of you Dewdrops try and watch my videos and then emulate what I'm doing, which I think is absolutely fantastic and we should be doing it together. Let me know if you also feel this way. I'd love to see what you're working on. I take it as the ultimate compliment. All right, guys, we're going to put our tools in the water and we're going to start moving our paint around. Here we go. I gotta slow down. Looks like, like our white is crackling just a little bit. That's okay. I'm not worried about it. Okay, so we have a beautiful base here. 
and I'm like, well, what? What haven't we done in a while? I'm having trouble remembering, guys. Okay, so, hmm. Our ornament has bigger bits of color. What shall we do? What shall we do? All right, we'll just, we'll give it a little wave. All right, so we've got a double wave going on here. All right, let's dip our paper down and see what we get. Here we go. I think this one is going to be a pretty one. Oh, what do you think? I love the colors. I like the pattern. I think they're popping off each other really nicely. Can't wait to compare it to our picture to see if we got what we wanted. All right, let me set it to the side. Oh, I like that dewdrops. I'm seeing a little bit of dripping and running, which means I'm gonna rinse it. I think that'll probably take care of it. So what happens now? Now, we, uh, I let the paper dry and then I iron it to make it flat because it's gonna dry all wavy. And then I'm gonna take pictures and show you comparison pictures of our image and our paper to see how close we came to achieving this challenge. All right here are those pictures. What do you think? Do you like it? Does it look right? I hope it does. I really like the print as of right now. Okay, Dewdrops, it's Diane from Coravina. Go to cora-vina.com to shop for a beautiful silk scarf for you or a loved one. I hope that you're having a great, a great December. I hope you're not stressed. If you are stressed, just relax with some water marbling videos. You can head over to YouTube. There are a plethora of them. If you're on YouTube, make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any cool water marbling videos. If you are a water marbler, go to coravina.com and sign up for the blog to get emails about the blog um, where we can talk all things water marbling. All right. And if you want to do a water marbling challenge where we have a picture and then you paint and then I paint and then we see what people come up with, well, I think that would be really fun. All right. Okay, guys, remember live colorfully. Remember to like, comment, share, or subscribe on this video. It really helps me out. Goodbye.